Alex Cross. We got ourselves the four roses. Hey, Alex. You're going to want to prepare yourself for this one. Woman was tortured to death. Uh, so I wanted to begin by asking you a little bit about Tyler Perry's casting as Alex Cross. Sure. What was sort of your initial reaction to his name being brought up, and how do you think he I did actually, fill in the role? I actually brought up Tyler's name originally. This is a few months earlier, and everybody said he'll never be able to fit it into a schedule. Blah 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 blah. And then and then Bill Bill Block, who runs QED, went. He said, "I'm going to go over to William Morris and, and actually ask." And they asked, and Tyler said, "You know, I, I could be interested." And what was it about him as an actor, what about his previous work that you had seen that made you kind of think there could be an Alice Cross I've there? seen all his movies, and, and, I, and I've seen him in theater. And in particular in theater, I just found him to be a commanding presence, very dramatic. And, and, and the movies, uh, um, I, I thought he, I thought he you know, really was very smart about what he was doing, obviously very funny. Um, and then what I read about him, just in terms of his, the, the willpower that he has, just that core, you know, he he's like, um, um, oh, you know, like a Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan in the sense that they just will not lose. They refuse to lose. So I knew if he committed to this thing, he would not lose, and he would he would really drive it and push it, and uh, that's what he did. Is that an important characteristic of, of Alex Cross, of the character, of this I drive and will to not lose? I think that's important for Alex Cross, and I think it was particularly important for somebody coming in and doing something new uh, like this, where he really was going to do something he hadn't done before. Yeah. And now, were you on set? Were you able to sort of I help him in between and tutor him a little bit on <laughs> no. certain things? No, you don't, you don't tutor Tyler. But I, I, I was on set for part of it. You know, I, I've produced a lot of stuff, in particular a lot of commercials. And, and for me, when we have the script, we have the director, we know the strengths and weaknesses, we have the cast, I could sit there and give the commercial a letter grade right there. Uh, so I felt very comfortable. And also, once, once the movie train starts going, I really don't believe, and unless you see a wreck coming, don't get in the way, because you're just gonna, you're just gonna mess it up. I think that, this was a very, very smooth production. Um, from the time we brought Rob on board, uh, both in terms of timing, costs, a minimum of screw-ups, uh, um, you know, pleasure for most of the people, so. That was a good thing. Yeah. Now with Rob, didn't uh, have a lot of you know. I think one of the problems in, on some of the productions is they'll have you know 19 chefs, and that just doesn't work. Right. Too many, too many cooks. Yeah. Yeah. It never works. Well, I was gonna say with Rob Cohen. I mean, you were talking about a director. This is gonna be a much uh, heavier action-driven Alex Cross film than we've seen in the past. Was that a, a, a particular direction that you guys wanted to go in, and what was it like working not, with Rob? Not really. I mean, we knew there wasn't going to be a ton of action. We knew that we knew that there was going to be a lot of pace to the movie, but you know, this isn't a car chase movie. It's a, it's a relatively tight budget, uh, but we thought Rob could do could really do suspense, and, and I think where he really excelled here, and it's contrary to to what he's done in the past, is is the emotion of the scenes. Uh, yeah, he really did. A, he did a great job with, with with getting the emotion out of out of everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Matthew Fox is the villain in this film. Could yeah. talk a little bit about it because he's very totally. menacing in this role. Yeah, he is way over the top and uh, in a good way, and and it, it's unique. You know, you I like when I go to the movies. I want to see stuff I haven't seen before, and people are going to walk out of there. What some people are going to go was that was that Matthew Fox? You know, um, but everybody's going to go. That's a very unique villain. I mean, he's. He's mesmerizing. You, you're just fascinated by this guy. I mean, he's almost inhuman. Yeah. Um, possible sequels? Are there other books that you'd like to sort of tap into? And yeah, we got adapt? a lot of books to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it all depends on Tyler. I, I mean, I know Tyler is proud of his work here. He should be. And and if he wants to do another one, and I think he has some interest, uh, we're there. We'll do it. Do you have a particular story that you would really like to see adapted? There are a few that I think are, are, are good possibilities, yeah. Yeah. And, and what was it about this one, about Cross, that you really wanted? Well, I think that was right I, I you think did. in a lot of ways this is the best of the Alex Cross movies, better than Kiss the Girls and Along Came a Spider, in that you really do get that intersection of his his life as a cop and a difficult cases that he works on and his family life, which he is equally devoted to, and, and it crashes here because the, the life as a cop comes right into his family life. We've got to get inside his head. Where would he be? 
is already in the building. Move! Let me see your hands! Come on now. You can do better than that.